Hello, dear people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. There have been multiple rumors on the social media and different platforms that uh, there is a plan for the current president of Nigeria, talking about President Muhammad Buhari, to go for the third term. Mm. Now, this is not new, actually, considering the fact that in the days of uh, Obasanjo, there was such rumor to a point that they even said that he had given monies or promised some lofty amount of money to most of the senators and all of that. But it still did not work out. But this time around, you know, the shocking aspect is that Arewa, you'd have seen a strong warning message to Buhari over this issue of uh, Tatum bit for him. But but then, before we give you full details of the news and also consider some of the reactions of Nigerians, let's uh, please subscribe. If not, just hit that red subscribe button and you'll see a bell uh, notification. Hit it also so that anytime we publish our news, you'll be the first to get it. All right, let's look at the news in detail. The Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, AYCF, has rubbished claims that President Muhammad Buhari may extend his tenure due to insecurity. The AYCF National President Yerima Shetima said Nigerians would resist any attempt by Buhari to extend his tenure beyond 2023. Speaking with us, Shetima disclosed that Buhari must emulate the former President Good Luck Jonathan, who addressed insecurity a few weeks to the general elections. According to Shetima, he said, I do not think the president will descend so low to that extent. And of course, if he attempts such, Nigerians will resist it because the constitution does not allow it. If there are any security issues that will warrant that, they should quickly address it before the 2023 elections. We have seen instances where Jonathan took three weeks to fight insurgency so election could be held. So if that is the case, we still have a long term before the election. I'm sure Buhari can do the mobilization and order that anyone found wanting, especially bandits and terrorists are dealt with. Once this is done, we can use one year to address and forge ahead with the elections. For the president or anyone to say due to insecurity, he would sit behind and defy the constitution is insane. We run a constitutional democracy, and we are not in Banana Island. Nigeria is a sovereign nation. Wow. Those were the words of Arewa Youth Consultative uh, Forum, which points us to the fact that this 2023, most people are really planning for it. And apart from just um, having to honor people to run for you know, the position or trying to walk in line with the constitution of the country where each president has only four years and the max time, max the number of, uh, you know, tenure they can go is just uh, two years, which is eight years. Uh, let's just look at the possibility. I'm trying to take a look at the possibility of the president, you know, going for the third term. How would that look like? Before we, we even think of, uh, you know, embarking on such number one is there must be constitutional review the constitution must be reviewed number two is if your super performance outclass all of your predecessors you know one can have a rethink in that direction you understand do i know that considering the fact that most people have been juggling and waiting you know to be to find themselves in asura such people will never align with it but then try to, i'm trying to look at it from the point of possibility if uh, there is a room for such to be allowed i don't think that it will be this current administration and um, I, I i seem to believe or i seem to accept the fact that that any administration that will come on board and beat down this current administration 100 percent such person can nigerians don't mind for such person to go for a third term because already the president that this uh, administration has said that talking about what they have left behind as a legacy for nigeria is so disturbing that what what nigerians are earnestly desiring is one person who can come on board and change the narrative the current narrative for the country for example looking at the issue of insecurity it is not superb 
at all. You know, when Atahiro, uh, sorry, when uh, Atahiro, the um, chief of army staff who passed on some few weeks ago, came on board for just a short time. The man, I mean, took some drastic step, which had ended up correcting a lot of things. You understand? So, which means that this problem is solvable. And this was the same administration. Nigerians were begging, change these guys who were on board. They have done their best, but their best is not good enough. You still left them there. So how would Nigerians trust you to a point of giving you another opportunity just because of insurgency? Another person will always come in with the best tactics. And it's not even good for such things to happen, considering the fact that there are other people out there who may have greater and far better giftings if this current administration can perform thus far. Who knows what the next one will do? If you look at uh, the train of event, the economic hardship Nigerians are going through. Yeah, we are hearing stories of getting money to build infrastructures for Nigerians to a point even that uh, one of the president's spokesperson, Adeshina, came out to say that when the president leaves the seat, Nigerians will regret and all of that. But I tell you the whole truth that an ideal situation you this current administration may be left down the memory lane by Nigerians if a new guy comes on board with such superb performance. For example, look at the issue of food today in Nigeria. Because of insurgency, because of banditry, because of a lot of things, Nigerians are going through very difficult time. Even the issue of uh, these Fulani guys whom we claim uh, who are to some extent behind a lot of things happening. If they give you their own story, you will know that this administration is not performing as expected especially in the area of insecurity most of them are complaining of cow rustling some of them have as much as five thousand cows before now but now they are only left with one reason is because of banditry and sometimes this issue of banditry we're talking about is as a result of the fact that there is so much hardship in the country and unfortunately the so-called money that we claim that nigeria is borrowing from afar of and using it for infrastructure infrastructure sometimes we see that it is revolving in the hands of the politicians the hands of the very rich the poor man down there is suffering every day and there are nothing that is put on there, there's nothing put on ground to ameliorate his condition yes we know there is uh, cash give outs like the one that was brought in by uh, Yemi Sibanjo, they give you 25,000. But is that the w best way to tackle the issue of poverty? Of course, no. We have multiple ways to tackle it. It's not by giving people money. You teach them how to fish. You don't give them fish and expect that it's going to sustain them forever. 25,000 naira in most people's eyes, it seems so big. But you'll be so shocked the level of uh, debt that 25,000 naira or 30,000 naira is going to meet. You understand? So the best thing is to improve the general infrastructure of Nigeria. Create a scenario that will permit growth. Create a scenario that will cause Nigerians to be a bit relaxed. This issue of housing, federal housing, you know, estate, is something that should be taken up by the government, whereby they spend time to build houses which the rent will be very, very minimal. You know, one can be staying there comfortably and hoping to improve on his life. Then a situation whereby people are struggling and all of that. And you feel that that same government should be revoted in, or maybe we alter our constitution because of that. But no, no, it can't happen. If he was a super performance, one can be thinking towards that line. But based on the performance review, I don't think any Nigerian will be thinking that he should continue leading the country because of inse insecurity. How far have they even solved the insecurity? He's been there for as long as now. But however, that is just a suggestion coming from Shetima that Nigerian there will be uproar if he thinks of extending his days in the seat as the president of Nigeria. What is your own perspective?